You alright? You look like you're dying a little. What do I have to get on, on this getting in the car? <laughs> you gonna live? No. How many times have you hit your head on the roof of a car? A million. Yeah, and you'll hit your head on the roof of the car a million more. It doesn't ever end. I hit my ear one time and I thought I was gonna cry. It hurt so bad. I mean, I was little, I was a kid, but oh, it hurt so bad. I didn't just bump my head on it like, oh, bump my head. I was going back, like sliding back with the chair. I hit my head on the roof. <laughs> How did you manage that part? You didn't even well, do it getting into the car? No, I was sliding the chair back and I fell. Into the roof. Into the roof. <laughs> So we're at Blake's school for breakfast burrito Wednesday. Ooh, we've missed this like 16 times in the world. Yeah, right? It's been a long time. Uh, Chris will put all the money in a Ziploc bag so we wouldn't lose it like children. When have we ever lost the money for this? Mm, I've lost money before. I lost $40 on the train like four or five years ago. Wow. It sucked. I don't know. It just fell out of my pocket. Well, I've lost $10. I lost $5. I lost $5. I actually lost $5 in McDonald's once. Yeah. Like, it um, sucks. It's a crummy feeling. It was one of those ones where it's like, like the tunnels and stuff. Mm -hmm. And you lost in the dirty play area. No, I found it, and then I went to the bathroom. Oh, and then I got home. And I realized I don't have five dollars. Oh, I hate that. I hate losing money. The line. Okay, here's five dollars. Look at all these delicious bars of silver goodness. Well, if you're really silver underneath them, then our teeth are gonna crumble. Let's see. It's you. And here you are again. All these pictures are good. I hadn't got to see these yet. Where's. <laughs> is that Mr. Bulls on you guys? Yeah. And then this is after you jumped on us. He smashed you guys in the around. Yeah. That's cool. A couple of us got lucky to escape out from underneath me. Where's your pictures at? Right here. Oh, you're all the way on the set. Yeah. I saw that YouTube video, you tried to scare me. It didn't work. I need a better, I need a better horn, like one that's like a truck horn. Yeah, something or, like that. Or a train horn, yeah, a train like horn would work. Or something like yeah, that. but not my sissy horn from 50 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there? Mm -hmm, I'm tired. You're sleeping like Dracula. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, new fancy shoes. Yes. I had to buy two pairs because these will be girl. for Jason's wedding. No. These will be for Jason's wedding and these will match my other dress better. They look the same. They are the same but different. Another different color. They're actually eight and a half this time, unlike the ones I bought last time that were nine, even though I bought the eight and a half. Mooch says he wants to check out the shoes. He's got four paws, one for each shoe. So what you making? Falafel balls. Those look good. They are good. They kind of look like oatmeal cookies. Kinda. How long have you been eating falafel for? Longer than I've known you. I've never had falafel before I met you, but it's really super good. Who showed you falafel? Um, my friend Kylie back in the day, because being a vegetarian, people always like to be like, how about you try this? And I was like, oh my god, this is great. But she fried them. I baked them because it's healthier. We used to fry them and they were kind of just grease balls. Pretty much. They just absorbed the grease. I don't think I'm very good at frying. I think it has to be super hot. Alright. You have falafel fingers. We do have falafel fingers. Hey Blake. Hi. How's your salad going? Okay. Are you evenly distributing croutons? Yes. They look exactly the same coming out as they did going in. There's no like, there's no like payout. There is when you eat them. They look good. How come we're not putting stuff inside the pitas? Because these pitas don't open. Well, then they're not pitas. It's pita bread, it's just not pita pocket. Huh. Your falafel looks really good. It is really good. It's a little difficult to eat. Now I know why they wrap it in foil when you buy it. Are you not going to buy the taco-ish pitas anymore? This pita's really good though. It's really like thick and bready. It's good pita. It's better than the pita pockets. I won't even ask you any questions. I'll just let you carry on. So now Blake is on his way to, what's it called, youth group? Yes. For the first time? Yes. Well, you have to tell us all about it when you get out. Okay. Enjoy! I wish my school had its own Starbucks. I think that's so cool. Alright, so we're back after Blake's trip to youth group. How was it? Good. Did you see anybody there? Like Jesus or Moses or anybody? They're dead. 
So you didn't get anybody's autograph? No. Nobody from the Bible showed up. No. So oh, two no. Two curbs in one parking lot. That was a curb. So no meet and greets or anything. What's meet and greets? When you get to like see somebody like famous or something? There was nobody. Fa there was I nobody saw Mr. famous. H. He's famous. Is he in the Bible? No. Hmm. Did Did he he go teach back next Bible? Week? No, he teaches music. He teaches <laughs> music. MPE. Are you going back next week? Yes. All right. Are you not okay with seeing yourself on He was camera? snuggling until he heard himself meowing and then he's just tripping out now. That's, yeah, that's what you sound like. I know we all sound different on video. <laughs> that's right, you back to me anyway. Now you gotta go investigate where that cat is. Alright, another day, another vlog. What's been going on in your life? Oh, you gotta go pick up that dress soon, huh? Yes, I have to go on Sunday and pick up that dress in Burbank. For our wedding, according to half the people <laughs> that didn't watch the video and only congratulated us based on the thumbnail. Yep, way to judge a video by its cover. <laughs> I agree. Never, never happening. So, yeah, I'll go do that early in the morning because at 11 I'm going to go see a friend I haven't seen for 13 years. And that should be very fun and awesome. Yes. I'm very much looking forward to that. In the meantime, I'll stay at home and be Bachelor Dan. <laughs> Yes, you enjoy that. We'll vlog that day. We'll hang out all day long and do stuff that only we would do when Crystal's not here. Like, play video games. Like, move the couch in front of the TV? Like, move the couch in front of the TV. <laughs> That's probably the big number one thing yeah. I do when you're gone, huh? Pretty much. What about you? When your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other is gone or out of town, do you act differently? Do you rearrange the house or just eat a bunch of pizza and put pizza on top of your pizza? I watch murdery shows. You watch lots of murdery I shows? I binge watch murdery shows when you're not here. Usually true crime ones. The real gritty, like there might actually be pictures of dead bodies on the screen ones. Oh, you you're like not those. down for that. that. You like the reenactments. That's some strange. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I don't enjoy seeing the dead bodies. I just watch the real or real crime because you don't usually like that. All right, I have a question about your real crime shows. Out of all the percentage... No, wait, I'll start over. Out of all the shows you've watched, how many percentage of the time do they find the killer? Or, 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 or solve the mystery or stuff. Well, it depends on what show you're watching. Um, just, like the, just like the kind of real-life murdery shows that you watch. Well, it depends on what show you're watching. Like 20 some of them are and... Well, 2020 is like 50-50. 50-50, 2020, see what no, I did just... there? <laughs> Comedy jail? Yep, so... Comedy jail. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's 50-50 because the setup of the show. They're not necessarily trying to find... Like, they're not necessarily reporting that a killer was found. They're just reporting the thing that happened. I like the ones like Cold Justice, though, where they like go back and solve the unsolved crimes from years before. Those are neat to me, that they like go re-interview people who now will talk about something they wouldn't talk about before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I, I do like those ones, too. Yeah, they that's have a really neat. good like solve rate on that show. They're on like, season three. I like that show. You want to see my socks? Sure, let's see your socks. Today's frogs. These are from Claire's also back in like 2000, 2001, so they're pretty sad. Kinda looks like the Boston Super Mario Brothers 2. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call those socks. The Mario Super socks. Mario 2 socks? Yeah. Those are yeah. pretty cool. Thanks. All kinds of cool socks, you don't even know. <laughs> Alright, everybody have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ah. Sorry, guys.